Hi everyone, this is KJ. Welcome to video two of our four part video series on getting a mortgage here in Mexico. So if you haven't seen video one yet, I'm gonna highly recommend that you go back and watch that introductory video. It's gonna kind of give you a good overview of things and then jump into this video. So in this video, I wanna talk about the terms of the mortgages that are being offered through our partnership with Moxie. The first thing is these loans are in US dollars. This is really important. Your, the loan is in US dollars, the payments are in US dollars. Uh, they're serviced in the US. So where this becomes something that is really, really important is that is going to protect you. If your income is in US dollars, that's gonna protect you from currency fluctuation. So if you're on a fixed income, and let's say that your fixed income is 4,000 US dollars per month and your mortgage payment is $1,000, then you know that's 25% of your budget. If you are having to pay your payments in pesos, but your, do, you know, your income is in US dollars, let's say the currency fluctuates, then all of a sudden you might be having 30 or 35% of your budget is now allocated towards your housing expense. So it becomes really important that you know what, you know, that your payment is in dollars and it protects you against that type of currency fluctuation. The next thing is these mortgages have no prepayment penalty. Um, prepayment penalties are something that there was some time in the US where they became very popular and if you paid off your mortgage or if you made a large lump sum payment against your mortgage, um, that would kick in what's called a prepayment penalty, which was a large substantial dollar amount that was a penalty for doing that. These mortgages don't have that. You can literally take out these mortgages and then you know pay them off the next day and there's no penalty. That's really, really critical. So you can use these mortgages, let's say that you own a house in the US and you know, you're not sure that you want to sell it. And so you decide to hold on to it and you get a mortgage down here in Mexico. And then let's say a few months later, situations change and you're like, no, I do want to sell that house in the U S and I really want to pay off this mortgage. Do it. That's fine. Um, there's not a prepayment penalty on it. So you can definitely do that with no monetary penalty. The next thing is a lot of, uh, your, old fashioned types of financing here in Mexico from a bank, a lot of times they would have life insurance requirements. Um, and the requirement on the life insurance policy was usually that it was at least large enough to cover the mortgage and the beneficiary of that policy was the bank and you paid for the policy. So yeah, that's not something a lot of us from the US are used to because th that doesn't happen. These mortgages do not have life insurance policy requirements. So that's good to know. Another one is age restrictions. A lot of the older bank loans here in Mexico might have an age restriction. If you were over a certain age, they wouldn't lend to you. That is not the case with these. So that's very important. Let's also talk about rates. <laughs> These are fixed rate loans. They are not adjustable rate mortgages. The rate that is fixed when you close the loan is the rate for the lifetime of the loan. I'm not going to get into specifics because this is, you know, this is a video going up on YouTube. And so five years from now, somebody might be watching this video. And if I start quoting rates, it, it doesn't apply, right? So what I will talk about though is how rates are calculated, the rates on these loans are very similar to non-owner occupied, non-agency loans in the US that are adjusted for the international risk of owning a property in another country. I've looked at the current rates and they're, they're good. I mean, they're really, really good. Um, you know, it's, is it gonna be higher than what you might have in the US? Absolutely. Remember, you're buying a property in another country, so there is additional risk associated with these loans, that, that, and that's how banks mitigate that sort of risk is through the interest rates. 
So they are based on U.S. securities is the basis of it. And then there are risk layers. The more down payment you make, the higher your credit score, all of these different things factor into the calculation of the interest rate. Um, you'll actually talk to whenever you go through the process and you talk to the loan officer at Moxie, they will talk to you about the interest rates. I will not. Um, they will talk to you about the interest rates and the interest rates on these are set close. They're actually locked in or set closer to closing. You do not lock these interest rates up front uh, because properties in Mexico can have a lot of unknowns and a lot of bogeys and things pop up. Um, it's just stuff that you're not used to in the U.S. And so sometimes these take a little bit longer to get done. Um, and so the interest rate um, is set closer to the closing date. The other really cool thing is the terms on these loans. These loans go anywhere from 15 to 30 years. That's something that has not been available in Mexico. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think Moxie is the only company doing this, uh, which makes them really, really very cool, very unique. The payments are escrowed. So what that means is that your insurance, your taxes, your trustee fees, and anything else that might be unique to your property and where it's located, um, those are all part of your monthly mortgage payment. Moxie will handle paying all of those. They renew the trust. They do all of this sort of stuff that are required in Mexico. They handle all of that. So you don't have to worry about doing it. It can be a little overwhelming for people coming from the U.S. because there are other things that are required here in Mexico and you're, that have to be paid, and you're not going to have to worry about that. They're going to take care of all that for you. Another really cool thing is the interest on these loans is reported to you on a U.S. 1098 INT. Your interest on these loans is potentially a tax write-off. Um, you're going to have to talk to a tax, you know, consult with your tax professional, a tax attorney about whether you are able to deduct mortgage interest on a primary residence or any other home from your taxes. But they actually provide you with the 1098 INT, and they are the only finance company in Mexico that is providing that 1098. So that's really big. Something else that comes up quite often is the vesting. How, how do you own the property? So some people will want to, they may not want to vest the property in their individual names. They may not want to own it in their, you know, as their own individual. They may want to own it in a corporation or an LLC or a trust. Moxie works with you on that. They actually will allow you to close these loans um, where it's vested in the name of a corporation, an LLC, or a trust, as long as those entities meet Moxie's underwriting requirements. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you talk to uh, me whenever we have our consultation or with your loan officer at Moxie. Tell them up front there are additional requirements and paperwork and all that sort of stuff to do that, but it's possible. So that's something else that's really good. Um, the loan amounts on these, the, the minimum loan amount is $250,000. The maximum loan amount on these are $2.5 million. Now, the requirement is a 65% loan to value. Now, what that means is if you're buying a home, you're going to have to put a 35% down payment down. You can do more, but you can't do less. Um, the $250,000 minimum loan amount, um, that basically means it's kind of equating to roughly around buying a house at about $350,000 U.S. dollars, $400,000 U.S. dollars. Um, if, your loan, if the loan amount to get at that 65% is slightly under $250,000, don't, don't just turn away and go away. Um, because they can make exceptions for slightly lower loan amounts. It does increase the interest rate because that is another risk level. Um, so definitely uh, don't just shy away from that. Something else that's really cool is Moxie allows 6% in seller concessions. Now, this is something that's very common in the U.S. where the seller pays part of your closing costs. Closing costs in Mexico are more expensive than what you're used to in the U.S. And I'll talk about closing costs here in a minute. Um, there are a lot of other entities that are involved in, in the purchase or the transfer of a home here in Mexico. There, you know, there are um, notarios, there are attorneys, there are all these other entities that have to be involved in the transaction and they get paid. 
Um, so something that Moxie allows is up to 6% seller concessions. They allow the seller to reimburse the buyer for up to 6% of the sales price at closing. So let's talk about fees. So fees on the loan, depending on where in the country you buy, um, fees do change. Um, if you're buying in a resort town, Puerto Vallarta, uh, Cabo, Cancun, uh, some of those fees are going to be higher than if you're buying, you know, in central Mexico. Uh, there are different requirements, those sorts of things. Something else to note is in the U.S., you're used to you start your loan process, the lender will talk to the title company. The title company basically, they handle all of this sort of stuff. They have their own attorneys on staff. There are research companies that actually issue title policies and then their fees get collected at closing when you close the loan. If you walk away from your transaction, you typically don't pay anything. That is not the case here in Mexico. In Mexico, the entities that are involved expect their payment up front before they do the work. So during the process, whether you get a mortgage or not, typically you're going to have to start paying some of these fees up front and you will pay some of these fees throughout the process. Moxie is very transparent about the fees that will be charged. They give a good range. Um, and then as the, you know, as the the bills come up, they will definitely keep you involved and let you know how much they are, but they give you a very good, very transparent and tight estimate on what the fees will be up front. So that way you're not shocked. Uh, but you do, something that is very different than getting a mortgage in the US, you're not used to having to pay these fees typically throughout the loan process. That is something that you will do um, here in, in Mexico. If you, have, if you have seller concessions written into your contract, um, then what happens is the seller, whenever you close on that transaction, the seller will reimburse you the six or whatever percentage, but a max of 6%, they will reimburse that at closing. As far as the mortgages go, these are designed to be very similar to what you're used to getting in the United States. Um, the processes are very, very similar. The terms of the loan are going to be very similar to what you're used to in the U.S. The one kind of caveat that's a little bit different is uh, the payment of the fees and kind of when that happens. So stay tuned for video number three. I'm going to talk about credit underwriting. Have a great day.